Let's go! Think about a task where you have to do the same thing multiple times. Let's say you have to clear the table after a family dinner. You pick up a plate, bring it to the sink, wash it off, and dry. Not too hard, right? But what if you have a big family and you need to do this for every family member's dish? Maybe this means repeating the same task six times. Computers require very specific instructions to perform their tasks. So if you wanted to tell your robot friend to do the dishes instead, you couldn't just say, clean all the dishes. It's not specific enough. If you want a computer to repeat the same action six times, you would need to write six separate lines of code, the same exact instructions over and over and over. So annoying, right? Fortunately, there is a way to tell a computer to repeat an action without needing to repeat all the code. This command is called a loop. In programming, loops are the third of the flow control structures and allow us to use just one command to repeat the same process multiple times and complete a task. Loops are all about keeping your code dry. Dry means don't repeat yourself. So what's the problem with repetition? Well, typing out the same code over and over increases programming time. Also, if you have to write the same thing again and again, you're more likely to make a mistake somewhere. Make your code shorter with a loop. Now it's easier to debug and saved you time. So what does a loop look like in a program? Well, in JavaScript, loops look like this. This code will loop six times. But in Codable, this is what we use to program a loop. This looper will repeat two commands a certain number of times to achieve an outcome. A block of code like this works the same as code like this. In both, your fuzz will move right, up, right, up. But what do you notice about the two programs? This first option is shorter and drier. It will only take up one command bin in the game. The second option is not dry at all. It uses four commands and repeats the same commands twice. Now it's your turn. Use as few commands as possible to get the fuzz through the maze. Start by looking at the maze for patterns. Here I want my fuzz to move right, and then down, right, down, right, down, right. Instead of dragging out all those repeating commands, I can use the looper and set it to loop the commands down and right three times. One, two, three. I went from needing six commands to only one. When you think you've figured out how to dry up your code like this, test it out. Good luck! Woohoo! If you liked this video, let us know by giving it a thumbs up. And be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. Happy coding!